Jesus, 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 why I know the praise my God? Why I know the praise my God? Why I know the praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I know the praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I know the praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Why I no go praise my God? I go praise my God. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Every power bow before him. He's a mighty God. Every power bow before him. He's a mighty God. Every power bow before him. He's a mighty God. Everybody. 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 Everybody, 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 Jesus. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. I say, who has the final say to your life? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah took my life for all. He took my life for all. He makes a way. He makes a way. There is no way. Jehovah. 
Jehovah as the final say. Jehovah turned my life around. He turned my life around. He makes a way. He makes a way. But there is no way. Jehovah the final say. Hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani. Hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani. Hebega ho, hebega ho, hebega ho, hebega. Hebega ho, hebega ho, hebega ho, hebega. Hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani. Hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani yo, hobani. Hebega ho, hebega ho, hebega ho, hebega. Hebega ho, hebega ho. Baba we go the hill, the young hill, the mighty hard way, hard way, hard way. We go the hill, the young hill, the young hill, the mighty, the mighty hard way. All the way, all the way, we go the hill, go the hill, hey your day, hey your day, hey my day, hey my day, all the way, all the way, all the way, hey my Jesus, hey move, hey move, hey move, dike. My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, He's a Lord of God, He's a Prince of Peace. I say the battle, I salute him, I salute him, I salute him, I want to lift him, I am higher, 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 hig
Jesus,
Creator, your Savior, your Redeemer, our shield, our fortress, our buckler, our refuge, our sword tower, the unchangeable changer, the only God that ruled in the affairs of men, the only wise God, oh, the lover of our soul, the pillar of our life. Can you appreciate him this morning? Oh, the ever loving, the ever faithful, the ever caring, the ever helpful. Appreciate God this morning. Lift up your voice and just thank Him for your life. Thank Him for your hope. Thank Him for your family. Thank Him for your business. Thank Him for your job. Thank Him for your career. Thank Him for your profession. Thank Him for your ministry. Thank Him for your academics. Thank Him, thank Him, thank Him for every member of your household. Thank Him for your spouse. Thank Him for your children. Give God praise this morning. Appreciate Him for Johnny Messies. Appreciate Him for good health. Appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him for renew your strength. Appreciate him for you have been faithful. Oh, give God glory, give God glory. Go ahead, count your blessing one by one. Thank you for the thought he took towards you. Thought of peace and not of evil that will give you a expected end. Give God glory this morning. 
Give God glory this morning. Give God glory this morning. For all your prayer, he has answered the one he's yet to answer. For daily blessing you. For daily loading you with benefit. Oh, for all the evil the Lord has delivered you from. Oh, for the victories God has given you. Over works of darkness. Over sickness. Over diseases. Oh, I appreciate God for victory over household wickedness. Let God hear your voice this morning. Thank Him for your enemies. Thank God for all that the enemy has done to you. Because He knows everything. And the Bible says in all things we should give Him thanks. Oh, appreciate Him, appreciate Him. Oh, man, Ribra, Kateka, Santa, Mama. Daddy, we are grateful. Almighty God, we are grateful. Thank you for this day. Thank you for what He wants to do in your life today. Oh, the Lord has counted you among the living for a purpose. He has a plan and purpose for you today. For his word it is written. I know the thought that I take it towards you. Thought of peace and not of evil that will give you expected end. Appreciate him for every of your expectation today. Appreciate him for every appointment today. Appreciate him for his presence that we abide with you. His presence that we go with you. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. For today you will not mourn. You will not weep. You will not sorrow. Thank him because today you will go out safely and return back safely. Thank him for today you will grant your heart desire. Thank him for today you will not hear any evil news. Thank him for today you will partner with you. He will carry you. Oh, he will defend you. Oh, my Rima Santa Limama. Thank you for he will carry you today. Appreciate God for he will carry you today. Appreciate him for every miracle he has in store for you today. Appreciate him for all the things he will do in your life. Oh, my Rima Kasakate. Zigali Kapalima Santa Glade. Thank you, mighty Father. Hey, Jesus, most wonderful name. We have worship. Still lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you for your mercy today. For I know you will have mercy on me today. Oh, Lord, thank you because you are the merciful Father. Thank you because you are merciful. Oh, go ahead. Thank God for mercy. Every mercy you will enjoy today, I appreciate God for it. Ah, Karibra Kasantalia, Reke Kapala Basintalia, Ah, Karegereke Zakuta Brada Santalia. Oh, I appreciate it for His mercy that will make it to wash over you today, to wash over your home and your family. Eh, Karibra Kasantali, in Jesus' most wonderful name, we have given thanks. Only one person is saying, Amen. I want you to lift up your two hands to heaven. And I know the Lord will hear you today. Lift up your hand and say, Father, Father, I thank you for whatever the agenda of the enemy concerning me today. You will frustrate them all. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Lord, I thank you because whatever the agenda of the wicked concerning me today, <laughs> concerning my home, concerning my family, my wife, my children, my ministry, Lord, you will frustrate them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, I thank you this day for only your will will be done in my life. Only your counsel will stand concerning me. Can you go ahead and appreciate the Almighty God for only his will will be done in your life today. Only the will of God will be done in your life today. Only the counsel of God we stand concerning you today. Mari Prokata Santa Lima Mam. Zagayekete Gakuka Pa. Pronda Gaziandale. Ripota Prande Kasikate. Jigade Gabronda Kasanta Lima Mam. Seleba Baba Kashentelia. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have given thanks. Finally, lift up your two hands today and say, Father, I thank you for you will command hell for me today. I thank you for you will command blessings upon me today. I am my household. Can you go ahead and begin, and begin to appreciate God? For the Lord will command blessings. <laughs> he will command help for you today. My Ripa Posapali. Bosegede Gazu Tambrande. Lord, I say thank you. Thank you for you will command help for us today. You will command your blessings upon us today. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For we will not end this day empty. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. 
They will not end this day without a tangible blessing, without a tangible miracle. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you for your favor that will follow us today. Pray, Basika, take us under the law. Rigedeka, Supalima, Shentelin. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have given thanks. And so, my turn everlasting daddy, we say good morning. Faithful God, we appreciate you. There is none like you. There is none beside you. No one to be compared unto you. Forever you are God. Daddy, we say, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, for all that you are doing in our life, particularly for all you did yesterday, Daddy, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for hearing us at all times. Thank you for exchanging every of your weaknesses for your divine strength. Thank you for divine backing and support. Thank you for hearing our cry. Thank you for you not allowed to hear evil. Thank you for preserving our going out and our coming in. Thank you for being there for us at all times. Thank you for frustrating every plans of our enemy. Thank you, O oh God, for helping us thus far. Daddy, I said our thanks in Jesus' name. Daddy, we thank you because today will be special. Because you will have mercy on us today. Thank you because you will command your blessings upon us today. Thank you because you will command help for us today. And wherever you find the Lord, this amen. Father, let it be so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. I thought the blogger would say a louder amen. And jam those things together for the Almighty God and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Because the Lord will cause your joy to be full today in the name of Jesus. Let's please be seated in his presence as usual. I try and do your confession uh, on your own. And I know the Lord will grant your confession in Jesus' name. And also want to plead with us uh, not to take this period of fasting for granted. Instructions and obedience are very key when you are waiting upon the law. And so uh, we declare 14 days praise because we have been asked that this first phase to just be for thanksgiving. And uh, I can assure you the greatest way to contact light is being in his presence. Being is what? His presence. Thank God for those of us that were here yesterday evening. Praise the Lord. Yesterday evening was day one. You were here, shout hallelujah. You were blessed, shout hallelujah. And so we continue later this evening. Uh, it's going to be in place of digging deep, six to seven. Just an hour worship. Pure worship. Pure praise. Pure thanksgiving. And I know. God Almighty, we accept our sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. And the period of fasting and waiting is a period of sacrifice. I pray for you that your sacrifice will be accepted in Jesus' name. I thought somebody would say it better. Amen. Amen. This morning, we want to continue with the topic we took on Friday. Let my light come. I want to call it part two. Like I did promise us yesterday. Uh, let my light come. Our text remain Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2. Verses 1 and 2. Isaiah 60, verses 1 and 2. And the Bible says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. I thought someone would say it louder. Amen to that. If you don't mind, can you stand on your feet and lift up your two hands? While I was praying the midnight, my mind struck this scripture and these were the prayers that were coming from me. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, Father I, thank you. I thank you. For you will not permit darkness to cover me. Darkness will not cover my destiny. Darkness will not cover my glory. Darkness will not cover my hope. Darkness will not cover my family. Darkness will not cover my day. Darkness will not cover my week. 
Darkness will not cover my mouth. Darkness will not cover my ear. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. The Bible says there are some people that darkness will cover. You will not be among them. He says, he says, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and God darkness the people. But for you, the Lord will arise upon thee. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God that darkness will never cover any area of your life. Darkness will not cover your ministry. Darkness will not cover your academics. Darkness will not cover your career. Darkness will not cover your profession. Darkness will not cover your business. Darkness will not cover any area of your life. Every, every area of your life, the light will shine brighter and brighter. Oh, Marie Bracatega Sakatali, Mama, 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 Sabalekete Gazi Antalya. Daddy, let darkness not cover any area of my life. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lastly, little dose still. And say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, anyone hiding under darkness. To torment my life. Let your light expose them. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Anyone hiding under darkness? <laughs> Anyone hiding under darkness? <laughs> oh, my Riba Cassandra Limama. Against me, against my home, against my family, against my ministry, against city of light. Anyone hiding under darkness? Lord, let your light expose them. Pari brandeka payeka tagazanda li mama Kuribade gazika la brandeka santa li mama Shelele gazianda la baka shenteli Papa mama gazika le branda And so shall it be in Jesus name And so shall it be in Jesus name Between now and Sunday In that name that is above every other name Anyone that be hiding under darkness to frustrate you, to fight you, the light of God will expose them. Amen. I thought somebody would say it louder, amen. amen. The light of God will not permit your enemy to have a hiding place any longer. Amen. In the name of God the Father, amen. God the Son, amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We sit here and put your hands together for Jesus. Let my light come. In looking at this topic, we told us that that topic is supposed to be a prayer point, a serious prayer point for every one of us. For the Bible says, Arise, shine, for the light is come. Until your light come, certain things may never happen in your life. And until your light come, certain occurrences might become a permanent occurrence. And we took time and pain to look at certain individual in the scripture that their light came and what happened to them. We look at Jacob down to his light came he couldn't obtain victory praise the Lord we look at Moses and the children of Israel just yesterday we were talking about fire that generates light we discover that until the light of Moses came his 40 years of dwelling in wilderness could not be terminated. And until the light of the children of Israel came, their bondage of 430 years will also not be ended. Praise the Lord. And we told us that everyone that has significant achievement, significant accomplishment in their life, significant victory they must have had encounter with light at some point 
or the other. And we told her that David summarizes the victory that God gave him because his light came. Praise the Lord. And we told us that Esther, Mordecai, and all the Jews in Susan, their sorrow turned to gladness and joy because their light came. Praise the Lord. And we also told us that Peter will have been a mismeet for Herod if not that his light came. And of course, Paul, that used to be called Saul of Tarsus, will have perished and walk in darkness all throughout his life until his light came. Praise the Lord. Beloved, why must your light come? Okay, I also remember where we close, where we concluded last Friday was the fact that the Bible says light is a sweetener. Light is what? Because light is very sweet. And I told her that when you find a sweet thing, and whenever a sweet thing comes in contact to, with something that is not sweet, what happened to that thing? It becomes sweetened. That's why you can only add sugar to your tea, and your tea will become sweet. You can only add honey to your pap, and your pap will become sweet. And you can only add sugar to your coffee, and your coffee become sweet. And I prayed that all of our life will be sweet. <laughs> Beloved, yesterday, I told us that fire activates light. Fire activates what? And that is why fire will always produce two things. Heat and light. When fire is burning, fire will generate heat and fire will generate light. Just the same way that fire activates light, light activates glory. Light activates what? Glory. If you check our test, it says, it says, sorry, it says, arise, shine, for the light is what? And what follow? And the glory of the Lord is risen. Meaning, when the light come, your glory will rise. Praise the Lord. You cannot see the glory of the sun until the sun rise. Am I correct? Immediately after seven, just begin to watch outside. Small time, you see sunrise. Am I correct? As the sun begin to produce light, that's when you see the glory of sunshine. The glory of sunlight. Where there is no light, glory cannot shine. And the one that his glory is not shining will perpetually remain in shame because the opposite of glory is shame. And so, when you are saying, let my light come, you are saying, I want my glory to shine. Can I pray for only one person, sir? In that name that is above every other name, this year and beyond, the glory of your destiny will shine. The glory of your family will shine. The glory of your business will shine. Sir, ma, when your glory is not shining, there is a problem. All those who can hear about today, you can read and hear about them because their glory is shining. In the world today, by tomorrow, 
in the United States of America somebody's glory will begin to shine why somebody else own is setting hello do you see life I thought you would lift up your life your two hands and say father let my glory not set <laughs> sir ma when the light come one of the reasons why you must cry to God that your light should come is so that your glory can shine so that your glory can do what can shine. Read it. Arise, shine. For the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. I pray for you, sir. Your glory will shine. Yeah. Number two, why must my light come? My light must come so that I don't dwell in darkness. So that I don't do what? It's just common sense. One of the reasons why your light must call is because as long as your light refuses to call, you remain under darkness. And the truth, like you have been hearing since we started this team, darkness has nothing good to offer. All that darkness has to offer is one trouble or the other. One problem or the other. One pain or the other. One sorrow or the other. Is that what you want? Can you lift up your hand and say, Father, let my light come. And only one person is saying, Say, Father, let my light come. Father, light come. I, am I am tired of darkness. Sir, ma, your light must come so that you don't dwell and you don't have anything to do with darkness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sir, ma, why must my light come? <laughs> Beloved, I am praying for you, sir. Your light will come. <laughs> I say, your light will come. How can my light come? Sorry, why must my light come? I've not got it to how can my light come? Why must my light come? Light alters everything about your life for good. What did I say? Light alter everything about your life for what? For good. The moment light comes everything is altered. Praise the Lord. The moment your light shines, most of your expectations, most of your hard desires, most of your goals will begin to be accomplished. Praise the Lord. And I can give you several instances in the scripture. If you begin with the children of Israel, for years they were laboring without result, without reward, and they had the expectation that a day will come that they will also prosper. That didn't happen until their life came and he altered everything to the extent that the ones that were being oppressed the king cannot say bless us also go worship your God and bless us also suddenly they became a blessing everything was altered the one that had been in bondage was asked you are now free you can go everything was altered read 2 King chapter 25 when King Joachim when his light came through evil Merodach, everything was altered. His throne was lifted above all his mates. He was positioned for daily blessing. Every day, everything was altered. Light. 
light. Alter his life for good. Can I pray for you, sir? Your light will come. Either you say amen or not, your light will come. Sir, ma, until your light comes, you can never move forward. The one that is in darkness is standing still. No movement. You can only go around the circle. And so, light breaks the circle. For somebody that has been going around in a circle, you are going around a circle because you have no direction. When your light comes, instantly, that circle is broken. Can I pray for you, sir? This year, you will not go around circle. Yeah. Forward ever for you. Yeah. In business, forward ever for you. Yeah. Concerning your career, forward ever for you. Yeah. In your place of work, forward ever for you. Yeah. In your academies, forward ever for you. Yeah. You will never go around the circle in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Beloved, light is so so important. Light is so so what? Important. When you are saying, let my light come, all you are saying is that Lord, turn my sorrow to joy. Let my light come. And that was why the widow of Nain, when her light met her, at the city gate instantly her joy came light said to her weep not weep not how many of us want our sorrow to end your light will come I say your light will come how can my light come how can my light come can we open our bible together to Isaiah 58, verse 7 to 10. Brethren, I was discussing with two of my sons. And I said some things to them. Often you will ask yourself, why is it that in Africa, or Nigeria for instance, we are so committed or should I use the word religious we say we are born again we say we know Jesus and then when you look at developed countries maybe China they don't know Christ but things are working Even in Europe, Europe is a backslidden continent. They brought Christianity to us, but they seem to have abandoned Christianity. Go to the United States of America. Today, we are the one exporting Christianity to them now. Before, it is them that brought the gospel to us. Yet, things are moving. But here now, we say we know Jesus. And things are going downward. Even as Christians. Do you know the problem? Hello? Do you know the problem? Simple. We claim to know Jesus, but we don't apply his principles. They seems not to know Jesus, but they apply principle of Jesus. Do you see the two different? Many a time when we come together, prayer is fantastic. But listen to me, Sally, to me, man. The reason why the word of God goes forth 
is because the word of God says forever O God thy word is set to the word of God says ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free but many refuse to apply the truth let my light go may not be an answer prayer just by asking that's where I'm going if you like stay here till the end of the year and be saying Lord let my light come Lord let my light come you'll be shocked that that light may not come but when you search your scripture there are certain things that you and I have been asked to do and the light that you are asking for we call even the other religion that <laughs> does not know the true stuff they also practice the principle and you see light with them why? God is no respecter of person that's why Cornelius light came. Light came to Cornelius. Cornelius was in darkness, but he was doing certain things. And because he was doing certain things, the light came and confirmed all that he was doing. And he became a dweller in light all the days of his life. Read Acts chapter 10. What do I do for light to come as I close? Isaiah 58, verse 7 to, to 10. He says, maybe let's read it from verse 6. Give me verse 6. Let's start. One to go. Let's read together. Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's stand because this way we are closing. Let's stand. And we, all of us are reading it together. If you cannot see the screen, shout hallelujah. If you can't see the screen, open your Bible like this to that place. Want to go? Is not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the ban of wickedness? What is the ban of wickedness? Darkness. Am I correct? Good. To undo the heavy bodies and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke. Meaning God is ready to do what? To end darkness. Am I correct? Everything written there represents what? Darkness. Now verse 7. Want to go? Is he not to do what? Eh? Hello? Is he not what? To who? And that eh? That bring who? That are to where? When thou, that thou, and that, eh? Eh? and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Verse 8. Wait, 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 wait. Take it easy. Want to go. Then, Sha. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Slow, slow, slow and steady. Want to go? Then shall thy life do what? Huh? 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 And what will follow? Uh huh. How? And? Eh? And what happened? Matter close. How many of us still pray, let my light come? You are praying, let my light come. Raise your hand. Do you really want your light come? Will you do what the Bible says? Simple. It's a fast. Do you know there are people standing here that are still refusing to fast? 
He said, Do what? Sir, the word of God is so simple. The problem is you and I. Check the other people's religion. That thing they call am I waiting. Don't mention it. When they are doing it, this thing written here, do they observe it or not? I'm asking you, sir. You and I have been fasting. Today is the how many day? If you have done this, raise your hand. Hold on. Oh, pardon. Sir, yes, I know the truth. And the truth shall do set you free. God is not asking for too much from us. He said your life will break forth as the money. As a matter of fact, when you read it for, he said your life will be like noon day. Say fast. All the darkness will disappear. Say, but while you are doing that, make the poor your friend. Reach out to the poor. Clothe the naked. Sir, go to your house as you live here this morning. Clothes you've not been wearing for two years. It is very obvious you don't need them. There are people that need them that you don't know. If you don't, if you cannot locate them, bring them to the church. They are within us here that we, when, when we display them, by the time they get home, they will tell their friend that I went to boutique. Hello? It is the word of God. Is it your money will break forth? The lie you are asking for will come. All the darkness, yokes, heavy body. He said, I will take them away. You don't like pastor again. The way you are quiet. Pastor, why are you talking like this now? Do we still need to pray? Only one prayer and we close. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, give me grace to do your will. I want my light to come. Whatever I need to do as I live here now for my light to come, help me. That should be your only prayer point that we close this morning. Calibra de Casson, Tali, Brande Casson, Tali, Galima Mati, Gays, and Tolly, Brande Casson, Tali. You are not praying now. <laughs> Brethren, lift up your voice and talk to the Almighty God. Carabato, Gabrande Casson, Tali, Machentelli. Sakurabata Kashentelianda. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I know there's one or two people here that will say, For me too, I don't have. Let me share a testimony and I pray for you and we go. Years ago, no, no it's not a long one. Edda can sit down, but teenagers like us should remain standing. <laughs> Praise God. Some years ago, over two decades plus. This same your pastor standing here could hardly find clothes to wear. I almost wear one shirt for one year. This color like this, we turn. This this stay, the white stay that they use will be seen. I will call Obioma. They will turn it. I'm not gonna know what I'm talking about. And the day came, I was fasting. And this body came to me. I looked for one of my chorister. I was the head of the department of the choir. Then I had a chorister that we were in choir together. The brother would always come with the two slippers to choir the hazard to church. Me, I say I have one shirt. His own is worse. You know what I did? I had only one suit that is clean and one shirt. 
And that was what I wore for my graduation ceremony. I went, dry clean it. The trouser, the shirt. And I invited the brother to my house. And I packaged it for him. Sir, the word of God is real. That was the end. What I say? That was, I am telling you, I am the author of God. When the testimony began to flow in, I was afraid. The first thing that happened, I visited one of my cousins in Port He had never given me anything before. The first thing he did when I was leaving was to go and buy me a brand new trouser and a shirt I didn't ask for. I came back, not the other two weeks. Somebody visited me, brought seven shirts. I was seeing him off. I met another person coming to visit me. What does he have? He had a shirt and he gave me money to buy trousers. And that was how God began to cover my nakedness. Brethren, the word of God is real. Lift up your hand. I pray for you. As you step out of this place, your light will come. I pray for you in that name that is above every other name, your light will come. I pray for you grace to do that that will break your life to break forth. As you step out of this place, receive it in the name of Jesus. And now we hear your testimony. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Lift up your offering very quickly. In that name that is above every other name, I decree on the account of your giving, your money will break forth. Amen. You will spend the rest of your day in prosperity. Amen. The name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let us not forget to be here in the evening as we continue in our 14 days praise and the Lord bless you richly in Jesus' name. Who oh got the biggest blessing this morning? The grace.